you're going to see an American based backlash in general against all of our elected officials because the because the insurance companies are going to force this to a head. 39% People are crying right. in California, baby. They crying. They hurting in California. They can't pay. They can't pay for the health care. I'm surprised how many old people are affected. The seniors are affected by this tremendously. Oh, yes, and, fixed and, income. And God bless our seniors because we're all going to get there one day. And hopefully, my goodness, I, I hope they have a bill in place that's going to help me and not hurt me and be devastating to me. I mean, you look at these bills; it's incredible what they talk about with seniors, Mario. And well, let me show them that page you sent us too, Shirley, because you did send us. A couple of pages you wanted me to make sure. Here is the big government page, okay. And that's that one law that Nancy's trying to put through. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, now I'm neither hip hop nor Republican. I'm I'm just forced to do this. <laughs> but, but here's the here he is the big government page. Uh, you can go there and they have a they have the House Reconciliation Bill full text. So you can go there and spend some time reviewing it and, and seeing what the discussion is there. So. But if you go there and you see in the middle of that page, Mario, that in the middle of that page that you're watching, that you're looking at, you can scroll. There's another scroll in the middle. And in the middle, go back up. At the, right there in the middle where the orange is, uh -huh. there's another scroll. Yeah, the bill. That's that addendum that Nancy Pelosi is stating. In case the bill does not pass, that is where they need to read. You might want to tell them again. 155-page addendum. I got it. You can see it right now. We're showing it on the air. This is again. And the site is... and. The site is right here. It's... Uh, www.biggovernment.com. BigGovernment.com. Make sure okay. you check Big that. BigGovernment.com. And you can see the full text. 155 pages. So those of you with... Now remember, before you guys get turned off, I, I've read some of these things. You can always skip the parts that are definite. See, they spend a lot of time defining and putting resources. So it, even though it's 155 pages, it's probably 70 pages of reading. I don't understand why they can't make it so that everybody can understand the reading process. <laughs> because they, they put it, it so in complex. a legal format. It's actually written in a legal format, and they have to define every term. That's why I say even though you, there are often hundreds of pages, the reading part, is that usually a fraction of that? Because they have these long, long, long intros that identify every term and these long, uh, bibli bi you know, bibliographies the at the end. Come in the end. Yeah, exactly. You know, again, let's talk about the states. A lot of the state attorneys are lined up right now. They know they're getting ready to go to battle because if this bill does pass, the general attorney has already stated that there are going to be over ninety, uh, 30, 39 states that are going to sue the federal government. They're going to sue the federal government family. They're saying that because uh, they're not in support of this bill. And they're not going to just let it come into place because the president says so. There's other people involved. Again, we talk about understanding government here on HipHopRepublican.tv when you have local, state, and federal. And just because Fed says it's law doesn't mean that the states have to accept it, Mario. No, they, and they're going to sue because they can't afford it. Again, right. it's bankrupting. By right. pat See, it's bankrupting the same old thing state. I told you. When you pass the law, once you decide that you're not going to let them die because you don't have the guts to go there, okay, if you're not going to let them die, now you got a choice. Now you got a situation where they can sue you <laughs> for not providing them care. So all over the country where broke, poor people are, they know that when Auntie Ellie can't get her health care because she's broke on Medi-Cal, even after she dies, her all the family's going to sue you. Okay, America. That's right. Sue you because, because they're going to say, say, look what happened. And, I, and, I, and, I, and once again, it's going to pass the buck. Who ends up paying with you, the taxpayer? Pair. You know, Vic, well, before I, I want Vic to talk about what the family's saying online real quick, let me read you another page. Page uh, 59HC, bill line 2124. Okay, government will have direct, listen, government will have direct access to your bank account. Uh-oh, government will have direct access to your bank account for the election funds transfer. So that means uh, in this health care bill, they've thrown in some what they call pork fat. It's got a little fat in there. <laughs> that ain't too good. What is pork fat in a bill? That means it has nothing to do with the bill, but they want this little one issue to get passed. And one is uh, the government will have direct access to your money to kind of keep you alive and to elect for funds to transfer. That's on page 59. Well, as, now, let me take my role again as your radical leftist. That's one of the conspiracy issues. As you move toward a cashless society, Shirley, people are saying one day the government's going to say to you, gee, Bob, you paid taxes like you made 70000 but here, according to our calculations, you spent 110000 Where did the money come from, Bob? 
Bob's going to say, uh, hmm, it's, uh, I'm, I'm selling lemonade. Mm. Just remember that. So when you get to the cashless society, especially when you start having you know everything handled through these credit cards, and, and remember, all your welfare benefits come through cards now. That's right. They're going to be able to tell you what you spend. It's what like I spend. went to... Hey, wait a minute. If they, they say, tell well, you, you know what? Why well, keep them alive? Last week, we were able to track them, right? Because we know that WIC and welfares are now having their own little credit card swipe versus That's the, right. the coupons. That, they, that doctor or government can make a conscious decision and say, you know what? They went out and bought grease, and they went out and bought all these unhealthy foods they eat out on fast foods now they want us to keep them alive let them die well that's what you're facing as a public and i think that's the issue with the country you 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 have evolved so that morally there's a certain level of consciousness that you really but can't it's the consciousness of control isn't it, it? Like well, you're talking about a, a paperless system a system that is able to buy a, buy a card know what you've bought what you eat how much you ate and when you ate it and then they can also make a conscious decision if this bill passes that if you go and get your health care treated, they can look at your past history because you're a ward of the state. If you're on Section 8 or welfare or any kind of government recipient, you are a, a form of slavery because you've given all your information to the government. Let's just say people will use you. it, surely. Trust me. They'll watch all of us. Let's, let's say people will use it. I, I just heard one this morning that the people who are applying for the uh, the home, all these programs to save your home, right, right, that they're right. using that to lower your credit rating. Right. <laughs> you know, come on now. <laughs> oh, that one with President Obama's talking about he's going to give you $1,500 if you walk away. But then, then you lose your, then your credit rating then goes to the floor. The floor. You're screwed either way. Okay. All right. You know, I still say what we should do is just take our money and put it on each of our mattresses. Because everybody wants your money. The government wants your money. The church wants your money because they want you to open their money with a credit union. We're going to be talking about that real soon. And also, we're going to have some people in the, in the future on our show. We're going to have Leonard Robinson. He is a green environment specialist. He's going to be on the show. We're going to have Rosario Marin. She was our once our U.S. treasurer. Make sure you stay tuned and watch that show. And also, William Shackner. I've had a conversation with William uh -oh, Shackner. Oh, really? And we're going to have William on HipHopRepublican.tv. Mm. So uh, we've got some people who are old, young, and uh, out of space that have their issues on where health care stands. <laughs> well, Shirley, the fans have been writing in all kinds of things, too, making suggestions. One of the most crazy ones I was trying to look for, but I didn't get to share with you, where one guy said, hey, if we take $50 million and give 50, you, you say, if we take, you know, if you take $50 million, you can pay people, you can take, you can get, you can take, what is it, you can take 50 million people and give them each a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Tell them to stay home. So now you have 50 million jobs. Oh, God. <laughs> then you can tell them to go take the, that they have to mandate and spend that money to buy health care and a bunch of other stuff and you stimulated the economy. But anyway, I'm just telling you, what people are basically saying, you're getting all kinds of suggestions saying, well, why don't they just give us the money let us we spend it there? We've said that from the start. They're not going to do and that. Then, and then, we, then, then we'll stimulate the, I'll, give me a million, I'll go out and spend it guaranteed. They're not going to do that. Guaranteed. I'll spend it on health care and I'll stimulate housing. I know you I'll buy, buy a home. You buy me a home, you hook me up. Yeah, I'll hook you up. They say, well, well I'll give it up. Well, I get to say that this is the first time I, I have this experience with this is a, a, a transferable issue. It's not Republican or Democrat. No, because it's an because, American issue. Right, it is. And the part that gets me. No, I'm, I'm going to say some comments here. You know, of course, Sassy's all over you and yeah. agreeing with everything you're saying, both of you. This okay. Is what America's doing. You know what? The knife is scaring you know, me. The knife is really giving me a Chicago complex thing. right now. Pass the bill. But GNN wanted to comment on something you said previously. Okay. He said, why would you spend your money on on your fingernails when you can go put that money into your family. Well, oh. Because I'm a diva, darling. Oh, see? Now, no, see, now, there, there we go. See, see, here we are. Here we go. In order for diva spirit to stay up, right. you have to take care of yourself. Let me help you. Out. I don't want you to spend <laughs> no, no, money no, no, on I'm hair gonna... or fingernails, but I must have the cable football. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, some things are important, Shirley. Some things ain't. You gotta have. Nails ain't important. Yes, they are. Hair ain't important. Let me help you out. Sports My brother, if is you are on a plane, the first thing they tell you that if it decides to crash, the first person you're supposed to put that mask on is yourself. Mm. I have to take care of me to help you out, my brother. Now, you wouldn't keep watching.